Hey guys, it's Mix. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this look for you guys. This is a very easy look that doesn't include a foundation. Yes, can you believe it? I still look cute without foundation. This is a makeup look when you want to look bomb AF, but you don't want that foundation. I'm feeling myself <laughs> so much. Stop it, me. Stop it. One thing that I would strongly recommend for you guys is to take care of your skin as well. If you love makeup so much, you should also love skincare as much as you love makeup because a good skin is always great if you want to have a flawless finish for your makeup. I do take care of my skin but honestly speaking, I haven't been taking care of my skin lately this past week or two weeks. I haven't been loyal to my skincare at night. So I do recommend it to you guys. Be with me in this journey. <laughs> it's important that you cleanse your skin and you moisturize your skin. Those are the two basic components for your skincare routine. Just cleanse and moisturize. If you don't want that full skincare routine, just have those cleanser and even a soap like Dove. I do use that. I use a soap and then I use a cleanser and then sometimes I use an exfoliator and then moisturizer. It's also important because as you can see, even though I don't have any foundation, I still look cute as fuck. <laughs> because if you're not really taking care of your skin and then you put on a pile of makeup, that's gross. Okay? <laughs> so if you want to be bomb AF without foundation, then keep on watching. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Am I gonna call it a tutorial? So the makeup look that I'm gonna do is what I usually do when I don't want a heavy feeling and I still want to look good. Oh by the way, I don't have anything on my face right now. I just took a bath. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is prep my skin. I'm gonna use my Celetic Hydration Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. Dermatologist tested, water-based and oil-free, non-comedogenic that means it's not gonna clog your pores, hypoallergenic and free fragrance free. This is what I use ever since I knew about it. I would say the most important part of this look is skincare. Taking care of your skin is more important than putting on your makeup, for me at least. While I'm at it, I'm gonna use my Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. Because as you know, mama has dry lips. And we're done. I'm just kidding. So next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. As you know, if you've been watching my channel, I don't like not having eyebrows. So I'm gonna do them before anything else. I don't usually do my eyebrows first. I usually do my foundation, concealer, and everything. But since I'm not using a foundation, I'm just gonna go straight into my eyebrows. So there, I already have my eyebrows on. Next, I'm gonna go to my face. I'm not gonna use foundation, but I'm still gonna use a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use my concealer palette. I still use a little bit of concealer because I do have dark circles. I want to cover them up just a little bit. And then set them with loose powder. I'm gonna use my NYC. I'm gonna use a damp sponge, by the way. And then I'm gonna take a brush and then use the same powder and then lightly dust it all over the face. And this will also help the blush and the other powders I'm gonna use later to blend easily and not be patchy. So there, so this is what you should have so far. Then I'm gonna use the same brush I've been using this brush for about two or three years now. It's my handy dandy brush that I use for everything. I'm using my contour powder. And then I'm gonna use a shimmer bronzer. The bronzer here broke as you can see there. 
I still have it, but I'm gonna use another one. I'm gonna use this bronze eyeshadow from ELF. This is from the Ariel collection. I'm gonna put it on top of the contour to have that bronzy glow. And then for blush, my favorite blush to use for every day is this peach blush. I always use this pink one on camera, but off camera, I usually use this peach one. And then for highlight, it's gold. I'm gonna use this gold shade here because this is pretty natural for me. I don't highlight my nose when I'm doing this look because my T-zone is my oily part so this can get oily pretty quickly especially when I have highlight there. I don't put highlight there because there will be in about 2 hours. <laughs> so last but not the least the eyes. For my eyes, I really love to make my eyes look bigger. I'm gonna use this EB Advanced Perfect Eyebrow. This is the eyebrow pencil that I use for my eyebrows obviously but I'm gonna use it as my eyeliner. I'm gonna put this only halfway and then I'm gonna take the darkest contour powder here and smudge that. I sometimes use the blush as well for this part. So I'm gonna use this as well on the top but only halfway as well. The same thing, I'm gonna smudge it with the brown. And then I'm gonna highlight my eyes with the same gold shade for my inner corner and my brow bone. So the last thing I do is mascara, but since my lashes are too small for you to see them on camera, I'm just gonna quickly pop on my false lashes. So last but not the least, the lips. I'm just gonna wipe a bit of my petroleum jelly because I still want that moisture. For my lipstick, I'm gonna use this is what I've been using for the past weeks. I got it from my friend Jaffa. Hi Jaffa, if you're watching, we miss you so much. She just suddenly came back from Australia. She just visited for a week and she gave me this for my birthday, which was September 2. She bought it on my birthday and wanted to give this to me so it's really really special to me thank you so much for giving this to me i believe this is the brand mecca max this is the pout pop lipstick in the shade pencil skirt and it says here in the bottom it's sheer so it's a sheer formula look at the packaging on this so as you can see there's this round part here at first i was a little bit confused because usually i open the lipstick like this but you press it here and then when I pressed it, I was so confused because it was my first time. I tried pulling it up, but I wasn't really sure. So I tried to twist it. When I felt a thud or a thump here, I was I pulled it out and then my lipstick was like this. And it kind of had that weird dent. So anyway, that's my story. I'm gonna use this. This color though, I love it. I love it so much. Again, this is in the shade Pencil Skirt. It is a sheer formula, so I do have to layer the lipstick. This color is so beautiful. I love colors like this, that it's almost my skin tone. And it has that peach undertone. I love it so much. I've seen that it's really noticeable if your blush doesn't match your lips because they're so close to each other. And usually, those are the only colors on your face. So try to match your lipstick with your blush. So this is the final look. I hope you guys learned and enjoy some of the things that I said and did in this video. If you don't want that heavy feeling, you should definitely try this look. You can customize this look however you want. You can do eyeliner, a winged eyeliner if you don't want to use the blush or the bronzer. You can definitely do so. I definitely do this look especially if I have for example a meeting or something wherein I want to look cute. I don't want to get clocked like he has foundation. We don't want that. We just want to look natural. <laughs> this highlight ain't natural girl. But I look cute though. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All the products used in this video will be listed down below in the description box as well as my social media if you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Those are all linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! And then set them with translucent pop. And then set them. And then set them with. <laughs> if I want a colorful, colorful. If I want a colorful, and bah. If you don't want that heavy feel, feel. It. Should I film another one, honey? Should I film another one?